This is Twit. I'm interested in this uh, right now. Google revealed the difference in battery consumption on devices with OLED screens. We have, we all know that OLED screens, you know, you can improve battery performance if you just leave the pixels dark because they're not firing up on other screen technologies. Even dark pixels are being lit up and that consumes battery. Uh, well, they were using the 2016 Pixel as an example. Google showed how max brightness black used around 60 milliamps versus max brightness white using around 325 milliamps. And then you extend that over the, you know, the use case of a phone over, over days or weeks or whatever and how much battery you save. Well, I don't know if you've noticed this, but uh, I certainly have. Google has been on a tear bringing night mode to its apps uh, because <laughs> material theming is very white focused. Um, mm -hmm. And, you know, that ultimately that ends up using a lot more battery on OLED <laughs> devices than uh, black focused apps. So <laughs> they're they're updating their apps uh, most recently with the contacts app that they updated a couple of days ago. And when you actually tweeted about the advantage of dash night qualifiers uh, while you were there. What does or will that do exactly? Yeah. So the thing is, is that so so everything everything takes a little bit of work. Mm -hmm. um, but what's really interesting is that so this is like a developer thing. Basically, when you're an Android developer and you're trying to say develop an app that kind of works on landscape, works on like you know kind of a small like uh, pixel density device, a large density pixel device. Android allows you to actually kind of to kind of bucket resources to say, okay, I want to apply like this text size or this drawable on like this particular orientation or this screen size. And so night mode is kind of like that. Night mode is just like another qualifier. It's another kind of like way for us to bucket kind of like certain colors and themes and styles and draw and, and kind of drawables as we call them. And so what's really neat is that the night mode is actually done through this mechanism. So basically you say, okay, so you can define a theme, you can define a bunch of resources, images, text colors, whatever, and then just say, hey, this is for night mode. And then it should just just work um, when your phone is in night mode. So it's, it's a really kind of succinct, organized way for us to actually play with night mode. And actually it's a really good way for us to also kind of isolate that development from kind of our regular, you know, kind of, uh, uh, I guess what, whatever, however your app looks now, it's not like, you know, we'll, you know, we'll throw on some, some night mode slapdash and you'll start seeing kind of weird colors everywhere. It's a good kind of like isolated controlled way for us to kind of start adding in features like this. Um, so it's super easy and it also kind of forces us as developers to be a little more organized because you have to be kind of organized and separate all the things very, you know, evenly. So it's, it's just really cool. Sorry. It's a little bit of a developer geek out moment, but. No, it makes um, sense. It makes a lot of sense. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's just really cool. And again, it's something that should just work. It's not like we have to go in and do all of the night mode ourselves. It's it's a it's a mechanism in Android that we can take advantage of, in which you should. I, and I feel like that's, that's what people are kind of clamoring for, right? Like night mode inside of apps is nice. What would be amazing is to just turn on night mode, uh, like a universal night mode and say, I want my phone to always operate in night mode, have all these apps skin themselves appropriately. But that's a lot of like, I, I mean, obviously the developer would want to have a say as far as like what that skinning looks like. So then that requires the developer to do work around that. Is that kind of part of what this is all about? Yeah, yeah. So it's not going to be for free. Um, and they gave some examples during the talk of kind of what happens if you don't uh, kind of do things like kind of if you don't kind of follow the patterns that allow you to take to leverage night mode. So it is work. It's not like, you know, you're going to turn on night mode on your phone and everything's going to be night modified. Right. right. Um, and, and there are going to be like edge cases like they actually showed you, oh, what happens if you just inverse the colors? Is that kind of sufficient? Well, it's not. So it is going to be some work. So um, definitely, I, I'd say like if you're a consumer and you want night mode in your app, you should definitely kind of like ask for it uh, nicely. And then kind of if it's something that people want, then, you know, we'll do it. And yeah. I, I mean, my thing is also with like the battery life um, and also, you know, how much savings that is, because I know for us, um, our app is kind of has a lot of users in emerging markets. So saving battery is important. I mean, saving a battery from is important for everyone. So I, I feel like apart from just the kind of coolness and like whatever your mileage is on whether you like contrasty or not contrasty screens, mm -hmm. um, night mode is just kind of important, I yeah. think, in general. Agreed.